Hey family, it's your sis Lisa. I hope you're doing well. So as I've mentioned a few times on this channel, I am back in school. I'm getting my master's degree and I'm doing it online. Now, a lot of online learning is like you go to class, like virtual class and things like that. With my program, like I have never met my professor. I've never met any of my classmates. It's really just like all online and at your own pace and at your own time. So I know there are other master's programs like that and I'm sure college programs like that too. So I just wanted to take a moment and like give some tips for that because like honestly getting into it after my previous learning experience was just all in person on campus saw everybody like could interact with everybody you know what I mean in person like it was a weird transition so I just wanted to share some things about it with you guys and give you some tips if you ever find yourself in this situation or if you're currently in this situation okay so my first tip is figure out when you work best if you're in a master's degree program, you're probably like living your life, you probably have a job, you might have kids, you might be married, like a lot of things might be going on in like your regular life that it's like, where am I gonna fit this like whole degree program in? So for me, I know I learn better in the morning. So I like to wake up and I just knew this by like observing other things about my life. So like I like to wake up early. If I have a task to do, I like to wake up early and get it done before most people are awake. Um, I like to like, Things that I have to get done in my work day, I know I schedule, I like try to get them done earlier because like honestly, once lunch hits, if it's not like an autopilot task, like I'm not going to do that well honestly. So it's just best for me to get the things that I really, really need to focus hard on done in the morning. So I observed that about myself and like now it's crazy, but I have to wake up at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to like get my schoolwork done in time so that I have time to go to work, you know what I mean, and still be productive at work in the morning. So it's like a whole thing. But you have to rearrange your schedule. So like say you learn better at night, then you would just, you know, stay up later and, you know, get your work done. But for me, I work better in the morning, so I set my alarm for mad early and I get it done because, you know, we try to get these degrees out here, you feel me? Okay, so my next tip is to read all the course materials. That means the rubric. That means the, ass the assignment description. That means the syllabus. All that. Because, honestly, things are in there that are just going to make it ten times easier for you to accomplish what you have to accomplish. And because we are out here doing living life and doing other things, we don't have time to be doubling back because we missed something on the rubric or, like, not executing a task correctly because we didn't read the rubric or the full assignment description. So I definitely recommend that because there have been times where I started writing something because I just read the assignment description and I was like, let me check that rubric real quick. And the rubric like really gave me more insight on how to do it well. And not to brag or anything, but like I got A's in both of my first classes because it was just like, you have to read everything because nobody wants you to fail. Like specifically, I think in grad school, like your professors, like just want you to do well. And they just, want, they just want to converse with you about like what you're doing and how you're learning. You know what I mean? Or what you even think. So, yeah, just read everything because that's the best way to succeed. So my last tip is to apply what you're learning to real life and like your past experiences. Because for me, I'm getting my master's in divinity and I lead a small group, right? So whenever I'm like doing our little lesson plan and like reading through it, I'm thinking like, okay, how is there a better way I can explain this based on what I've learned in school? Or when I'm reading for school, I'm like, oh, that reminds me of like, you know, this one time when I felt this one thing or when I was leading and like this didn't go as well. Now I know how I could have led better, like things like that. You know what I mean? Um, and even just like for me, the Bible gets personal when like I'm reading it and learning about it. Um, and then I can come to you guys on this channel and talk about like Bible study and stuff and like lead in like a cool way and a new way that I never considered. Um, through like my videos and stuff because of what I've learned in school. So just try to apply it to your real life, you know what I mean? And even like for me, past sermons I've heard come through my head when I read something and that's helpful or like things like that. So just try to apply it to your real life and past experiences because then you remember it better. So those are the tips I have for you guys. If you want any like specific tips about like getting a master's in divinity or any tips about anything else really, let me know. Comment down below. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You can hit me up on Instagram and we can keep talking, we can keep chatting, you can comment below. We can keep talking, keep chatting, whatever y'all want to do. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!